so the update is upon us and the winter solstice or the winter hunt event is up so the night of the winter solstice oh god mid in <laughs> in the language of the elves is a time when the borders between worlds blur and the air shimmers with wild magic folks spend this evening together exchanging presents while witchers roll up their sleeves and get to work. Our first quest is the treacherous, treacherous passage. What are these falling rocks? So this is showing casing the row limit. Maybe he has duelers. I'm going to put it in the weather to see what happens. Ooh. Oh, because the, there are, it's a full row. Putting something in that row causes it to die. I get it now. Okay. I can still kill it with Igni. Ooh, the dueling effect. I think I'm gonna lose. Oh, I have to damage them. Okay, I got it. Okay, full I got my idea of how I'm going to do it. Oh, I got all these social and pending. And, oh, social has been updated. I think I slightly win. Oh, I can pick the row. It doesn't have to be opposite. I think I win by one point without using my last card. Okay. On the difficult version. When the more difficult version comes out, I will know what to do there. <laughs> oh. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> This seems really overpowered. Deal 5 damage, deal 5 damage. Well, we want to do that first. So we just do this three times, which we can do. This is actually the, the easiest one of them all. Come on. Uh, uh, boom. I'm not used to doing with a, with a mouse. Let's do it with a controller. I personally find it easier to use a controller. Okay, now he's wounded. I can just use this guy. Boom. If this is what he really did, that'd be so overpowered. Ooh, what's about this dress? Okay. Yep, 
He goes first. He's going to whack it for five. I'm going to play Yurden. Play Yurden. Heal it. And then I play these two. This goes back to my hand. Play it again, play this, play it again. Okay, he comes back. Play you again. Boop. Yearden. Okay, now I heal with this. Boom. <laughs> I had the general good right idea. I just wasn't quite understanding of what this ability was. Time to do Yurden a third time. Technically, uh, Geralt... The other Geralt might be better, but now I can't use Yurden anymore. Okay. Can't use Yurden while it's wounded because that allows him to use his uh, ability. Then I can play Geralt uh, Ard. Time to play Geralt Ard because this does damage. Okay. Geralt, uh, he'll bounce back to my hand before the end of the round. Oh, these are up to 10. It's good. Now I can play this and I can play for points. It didn't matter what I picked. I think that's the biggest margin you can win. It's by that many points. And we're going to do the hard mode. <laughs> so he's going to play weather. I want to I want to use these so I can combo with uh fret here. Ooh. Well, you don't want to play into this row because he's going to lob stuff at you. Then you want to follow up with a clan archer. Don't want to play this until I have to. Don't want to play that unless I have to. I can take, I can have this take a hit. Because I can play into any row with uh, Igni. Because if you use one of his boulders on that, there's only two boulders in this guy's hand, as far as I'm aware. Ooh. Oh, I forgot he's dueling. Should have been uh, doing this instead, I guess. <laughs> it is a hard mode for it, after all. Yeah, he can just boulder that. Get rid of it. Should just not put anything into this row at all. Does make this game hard. Out. Really comes up to this guy. <laughs> I don't think he has anything left. Other than boulders. I don't know what his last card is. Maybe another... <laughs> it 
think I win. Yeah, I win. All right. <laughs> Everybody dies <laughs> on this. But Mr. Fred, even Geralt dies on this. <laughs> There's probably ways to let Geralt not die. Okay, we, we, got, we know that. So now we gotta go take care of the Phoenix. Okay. So these guys have to die. Somehow. We have to get it wounded. So he's going to play his Phoenix card. We got to read what Phoenix does. No ability. How is he supposed to die? Well, obviously we want to play this first. I'm going to be able to wound it. I just play these cards for nothing. Uh, this seemed really easy. <laughs> like, I was th expecting to be reviving my uh, Dingifret. I mean, my uh, Corsair, ge these guys. <laughs> Clan Marauders. Okay, it's time to go save the Phoenix. We already have the strategy this on set and we already knew how to beat this without worrying too much we get one less card to do it but I won by a lot of points okay so then we play here yes I think I can I reduce it by three dam uh, I save five damage from that. Okay, now I go and increase my base strength. This heals it by five, gives me six extra points. Yurin will come back to my hand. I'll play it again. Okay, time to play a Yurin. You gotta get that maximum value out of Geralt in this battle. It's not easy. Because it's 10 points, you can actually uh, play Geralt for damage in the next, after the next card, because it won't be red. So I can play Geralt for damage here, meaning my character's safe. Boom, boom, boom. There is ability to Geralt Igni here as well, which is also hilarious. Okay, we got a boost again. It should be able to be completely safe. And I can Geralt Ard again. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. He can't injure it, so... I can boost it again. Okay, Geralt's gonna come back to my hand. I'll just play him as Geralt. Normal Geralt. <laughs> and I win! This is probably the easiest event I've played in hard mode. Like, the Regis event for October. Oh, that was, that was hard. Oh, you get the, you get, you get the dragon, <laughs> the phoenix as your uh, avatar. <laughs> 